Now to show you inside one of these cameras. Du -du 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 -du. I've completely dismantled RCP at this point. Here's the front mount. You've got a spring with mounted to the CCD unit, which has got gears so you can basically adjust it forward and backwards. And there's the two gears. And it goes on a little light screw. And of course your CCD board, which doesn't have a lot of set power filtration on it. Then you've got your main MOBO with everything on it. And there's not a lot of chips on this thing. There's a lot less than you'd think for the year 2000. I don't know what everything is because I haven't looked up the bar barcodes. Well, I know what the components are, but I don't know their individual jobs, which ones are microcontrollers and whatnot. And of course the power supply board, which only has a two point output, which is right here. Bridge rectifier behind the cap, two power filter caps, a big power resistor, and of course, your yeah, output and input board. That's more your output. I don't know what the gen lock is. If anyone knows, please do tell, because I don't. But yeah, it'd be interesting to measure the voltage that this thing outputs, and that, because one thing I've thought of for days is to rig up one as a type of night vision camera because they are extremely good in low light they can see in light levels I can't stick some infrared LEDs on there or something you've got a pretty good rudimentary night vision camera and here's all the various like this is a plastic panel to stop the bottom circuit board the power supply short and under that and it's all just little things like that. It's actually quite a well designed camera. But for now, I will depart. Thanks for watching. I got the camera. I got the camera. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. They even have heaters in. <laughs> I'm very happy.